a lot of research and this looks like it'll be a good one here. This is a Barnett Whitetail Hunter STR and advertising at 375 feet per second and it comes with the scope, the quiver, and two bolts. So I'm going to go ahead and open it up. And here's your crossbow in here. It's got a nice color to it. All right, we got everything out of the box now. So you got your pieces here. This is what you should have. Gun piece, everything laid out, your cocking rope, instructions, allen wrenches, wax, bolts, instructions, and quiver. So we're going to go ahead and assemble everything together now. I actually got this one off of Amazon. You can get it at other places, but I got it on sale on Amazon, free shipping. Alright, I got the crossbow together now. It's a little tricky. The directions aren't the best because they cover it looks like too many different kinds of crossbows in one pamphlet so i think that's a problem illustrations aren't the best so i can try to help you out clarify some things the quiver I had a rough time with but some pictures show the quiver mounting on the front under the rail but it looks like it's working out better when the side clipped on and there is a rail underneath and there's a rail on this side and there's a rail on this side for accessories and i chose the right side but you can put the quiver on the left side but it basically bolts on it slides on the rail it's got a screw there the allen head and they send the allen wrench and you just slide it on the rail and then you tighten that up and that will tighten the quiver down where you want it and you need to make sure that screw is on the bottom i slid it on the wrong way if you slide it on and screw from the top then it does not let the quiver the arrows are like hitting the string so you need to make sure because it clips in here it's a quick connect so you just push this and the quiver will come off and pop it back on so it comes off and on really easy and also the head when you're putting in the bolt on the top here that bolt right there that's the one that holds the whole crossbow together kind of tricky and the directions did not help me much on that but you line up the shaft there you'll see the where it goes into the only problem is well first thing make sure your double string is under it in that slot okay and your top string will be on the top of the slot all right the first time i did it i had the double string was sliding on top of the rail so if this is your first time like it was mine just giving you some pointers that's probably obvious to other people but just letting you know if you're just learning so make sure that string is on the bottom make sure this string this is the one that pulls back that one's on top and make sure you wax those really good too Rub it in the string good because they say you need to keep on waxing like every 10 shots or so. So, and when that goes in, see right there, the space, I had a gap there. If you got a gap there, it's wrong. Pull the whole head up towards the scope and it'll lock into place and you'll see that gap disappear. So when that space is tight, then you go ahead and put your bolt in. Go ahead and tighten it up with the Allen wrench they send. So everything else was pretty good. Scope was already mounted. And I've shot it a few times now. And it's pretty accurate. I would recommend shoot, starting shooting around 10 yards on your first line in the scope. And then make sure it's hitting. Mine was hitting pretty close to dead on. Need to raise up a little bit. And then go ahead and shoot um, back up to 20 yards is what... That's the way I got my scope set up. So 20 yards. I don't know if you can see in there. Probably not. But yeah. See a little bit. Those crosshairs there. There's like five lines. What I did was put it at 20 for the top. 30, 40, 50, and 60. But you can do it other way. You can do 10 yards on the top line. And then you can do... 20 30 40 50 whatever you want to do the safety is really easy to use there and it's in a pretty good spot overall it's 
pretty good bow seems like so far very powerful i'm still sighting it in some but just in case you're not familiar with the scope when you shoot and if you're shooting low there's your top scope so you're going to have a you're going to have a if you're shooting low you want to turn it to where it says up you want to shoot turn it that way click it toward where it says up one click is approximately half an inch at 100 yards to me it seems like you need more clicks like it's more like four or eight clicks but just keep playing with that if you're shooting low raise it up and the other side is going to be on the side of the scope you got your if you need to shoot right and left if you need to adjust that you just take this one off here it's going to be the same thing so just keep shooting and just keep zeroing it in it seems to be really accurate but same thing there you're going to have your left just follow the arrow it's pretty easy to set the scope on it and seems to shoot really good i was grouping them at 20 yards like a quarter size probably like almost touching arrows and also the only negative i can find really the stock extender for me i'm tall and got long arms it needs to come out further that's not very far for me so it's probably good for most people but it is adjustable there's two little allen head screws here you can unscrew them and pull this in and out also it's set up for a crank if you want to buy a cranking device you can put that in for cocking it so that's really nice to have in the future so if you ever want that cocking it back is a little bit harder than what i thought it would be but i mean not bad it's just a little bit harder than what i kind of thought it might would be so i think the stock extender would be nice and you want to get you some more arrows this thing is recommending 22 inch and no at a minimum of 380 grain arrows and the the broadheads only uses the rage so i'm gonna try those out so that's about it i think and i will show you about the cocking how you cock the bow here right, i'm gonna show you how to cock the crossbow you want to put your hook in there close to the rail Put tension on it bring the rope up around the top around this groove up top and bring it back down and you might have to pull it a little bit to get it to latch on the bottom all right and you're gonna grab both of these handles and just pull straight up make sure your foot is tight in the stirrup and you'll hear that click pull back slowly let go make sure it latches good and then you can go ahead and pull your rope off check in here you see that it's silver pieces make sure your safety is all the way back that means it's latched in good i'm going to show you how i'm going to put the arrow in all the arrows going to be different this is this being down should be a different colored one we'll slide that right up and you'll see inside you see that piece come up right there see it engage that means you're good to go when you're ready to fire just put your self on fire and you can go ahead and pull the trigger so that's about it uh, that's a video on the Barnett Whitetail Hunter STR nice crossbow for the money I recommend it um, thank you for watching don't forget to like the video and hit the subscribe button for me I appreciate it